lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I just quickly wanted to show you templates in Design Space for desktop. These are great and I often forget that these actually exist. I'm always going, right, let's go to shapes and let's get a square or let's get a circle or let's to emulate whether it be um, the amount of space on a t-shirt I've got or the amount of space on a wood block. And I always forget that templates actually are there and they're there to help us. So if we go down this side of our canvas, you can see right at the top here, we've got new and then underneath it, we've got templates. So if we click on template, you can see that we've got all canvas types. So we can select templates that would be specifically for cards, parties and events, home decor and so on and so forth and it's even got I mean it's got things like crock pots on there which would uh, for those of us in the UK that would be um, either like a big casserole dish or a slow cooker type device there's dryers kitchen mixers um, lamps pictures like there's just an endless amount and I always forget that these actually exist look flip-flops there's even flip-flops there jewelry belts photo memory so scrapbook layouts wall calendars children's crafts and gear as well which is things like guitars book covers bag tags lanterns you know even helmets there are a lot of templates in here even converse which i love that there's a converse template and that's going to come in now it's important to note that it won't cut this so you can see it's in my layers panel down at the bottom and the only thing i can do with it is hide and unhide it it's not actually part of my layers now i can change the size of it so i can select it be a women's short sleeve or men's short sleeve and I can either do a just a general size or I can select a custom size and I can then put in the actual size of the polo shirt that I was going to be using. Get my image and I could then size up my image to my shirt and I could even say I just wanted like a little thing to go at the top here. I can then make it nice and easy to know the right size that I'm going to use or the approximate size that I'm going to use. So the templates are great. They are really helpful, I find. And as I say, I'm always forgetting that they're in there. Not so much for your basic shape things, but for things a little bit more awkward, maybe something like a bowl or converse or something like a casserole dish a guitar, something where that shape, kitchen mixers, is hard to emulate. That's where the templates can be really, really handy. Now you can only put one template on your canvas at a time, but what you can do is once you've got your design the size you want it to be, you can then go back into templates, select a different template, but your image will still be there in the size you've created. So you can only bring one template at a time, but once you've created your image, you can then go and get another template. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.